I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solution of test questions from IGCSC. We have taken up question number 12 from 2017 test paper. It is based on kinematics. A particle moves in a straight line so that t seconds after passing a fixed point O, its displacement s in meters from O is given by s equals to 1 plus 3t minus cos 5t. Find the distance between the particle's first two positions of instantaneous rest. B is find the acceleration when t equals to pi. So we are given that s is equal to 1 plus 3t minus cos 5t. So let's find the velocity which is derivative of s. So that would be 0 plus 3 minus. Derivative of cos 5t will be minus. So it becomes positive 5 sine 5t, right? That's the derivative. Now, when we are saying that find the distance between the particles, first two positions of instantaneous rest, so instantaneous rest means that the velocity should be equal to zero, right? So we need to figure out when is the velocity zero. And then for that time, we'll find the displacement. So that is how we have to do it. So for velocity of zero, let me equate this as zero. We get the equation here as three plus five sine five t, right? Or we can write 5 sine t, sine 5t, is equal to 3, or sine 5t equals to minus, I mean, I should have written minus 3, so we brought 3 to this side, minus 3 over 5, correct? So we get sine 5t as minus 3 over 5. Now, let's figure out what is the value of t in this situation. Sine is negative in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4. So we're looking for these two. Let's find the acute angle and then from there we'll find the answer. So the calculation should be done in radius, right? So we'll change the mode and put it to radius which is setting 4 here. So we'll find sine inverse of 3 over 5. It gives us a value of alpha equals to 0 0.64. Let's take two decimal places, right? So, so what are these angles? So this angle will be pi plus 0 0.64. So we'll add to this pi, which gives us the value of, so we get one value, which is 5t is equal to 3.785, right? This is one value. The other value will be, as you can see from here, the other value should be 2 pi minus 0.64, correct? So we'll do 2 pi, which is 2 times pi minus 0.64 okay so that is given as 5.643 so this is 5t right so we'll find what t is dividing these by 5 so let me divide the last one by 5 first and we could write this to 1.13 approximately right and here 3785 divided by 5 gives us, in decimals, 0 0.757, so we'll write 0 0.76. So these are the two times at which we find that uh, velocity is zero, right? Find the distance between them. So let's find the distance at uh, time equals to, so we'll just substitute in S, right? So we'll find distance at 0 0.76 and we'll also find distance as 0 1.13, correct? 
So let's find these distances. Now distances are given by this formula here. So we'll place the value there and calculate. So we get 1 plus 3 times 0.76 minus cos of 5t. I can place this value 3.785, right? 3.785 bracket close equals to. So that gives me a value of uh, 4.08. Right. Now let's calculate for the second one where 5t is 5.643. So let me just change the values there. For cos 5t, I'll write 5.643 and then I'll change the value to time as uh, 1.13, 1.13 equals to. So that gives me 3.59. So those are the two dis displacement at the turning points. The question is find the distance between the particle first two positions of instantaneous rest. So what is the displacement between them? So uh, we will subtract one from the other, right? So we get uh, the negative value. So uh, from two to one, let's say, we have 3.59 here will take away 4.08 and write this to we get a displacement of 0.49 right so that is what we get the units are in meters right it's written here meters so this displacement is in meters now since it is saying distance between so we'll write the absolute value, right? So the absolute value will be, so the distance will be, so let me write here, distance will be always positive, 0 0.49 meters. Is that clear to you? So that is the displacement, the difference between them. However, we are interested in finding the distance. So distance is always a scalar quantity, positive, right? Okay. So that part is done. So we have done part A and we got 0 0.49 as our answer. Now part B is find the acceleration when t is equals to pi. Okay. So acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So here we did the derivative of displacement to get velocity. Now we'll get acceleration which is derivative of velocity. 3 becomes 0. 5 times 5 is 25 cos of 5t. When t equals to 5, that means acceleration will be equals to 25 cos of 5 pi, which is minus 1, right? 25 times minus 1. So we get 25 with a negative meters per second square. Time is in seconds, right? Meters per second square. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. So what we've done here is that we had displacement, right? So from displacement, we found velocity as the first derivative of displacement. At rest means velocity is zero, equated the equation to zero to find the first two times. After finding the times, we found their position. And difference between the position gave us the distance, right? This distance should always be positive. The acceleration is derivative of velocity. Substituting pi for t, we got the answer as minus 25 meters per second square. So I hope that's absolutely clear. Feel free to share my videos, write comments, and if you like and subscribe to them, that would be great. Also watch solutions of the complete test paper in my set of videos. Thanks for watching and all the best.